Here we're going to look at the plant hormone group brassinosteroids. This is one uh, general category that there's many that fall into this, so I'm going to speak in generalities here. So brassinosteroids are groups of some 40 different steroids that are synthesized by plants and are potent hormones affecting many aspects of plant, plant growth. Again, there's 40 of them. This is just speaking to what this general category does. These hormones act synergistically, or at least additively, with several other hormones, such as auxin and gibberellins, for example. However, what's unique about these brassinosteroids is that they're far more potent, potent than other hormones. They act in far lower concentrations than the others. So while all hormones act in very small amounts, these can act in even smaller amounts to get the same effect in the end. That's an example why I have the hot sauce here. I think of them being very concentrated, and a little amount of these can go a long way in having a plant effect. So what do they do? Though They promote cell expansion and cell elongation, and they work with auxin to be able to accomplish that. They also promote vascular differentiation, which is an example here, where we see xylem, and phloem is the smaller areas here. So these brassinosteroids are involved with that separation and uh, specialization of our xylem, the larger ones here, and the phloem, the smaller ones here. This is important for the vascular system of the plant. They're also for, um, involved with pollen elongation and for pollen tube formation. So very important in the plant's ability to potentially have a successful uh, pollination process. In addition, uh, they have the ability to improve the quantity and quality of horticultural crops and protect plants against many environmental stresses. So advancements using these, the hope is that these brassinosteroids, these BRs, in the production of horticultural crops become a more practical and hopeful strategy for improving crop yields and success. What does that mean? Well, under normal conditions, if we have a stressor that's going to reduce the plant performance. However, potentially with the use of this particular hormone, we could still have those stressors and increase the performance of the plant. This is why they've gained popularity due to the ever-increasing amounts of environmental stresses plants are under and the ever-demands um, by growers to maintain consistent plant performance in yield. And these hormones could be one way uh, to help mitigate the negative impacts of stressors to plants.